Love Blooms Between Twilight Sparkle and Donald Trump by Deneld the Unspooked. The tags for the story are sex, comedy, human, random, romance, slice of life, thriller. Twilight Sparkle meets Donald Trump and grows to love him. The ponies that star in the story are Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Discord, and other characters. Let's make America great again with 2,250 words. Once upon a time, after her great adventures, Twilight Sparkle was wondering what to do with that week. She had picked up her life from where she left it and wanted to make something from it. Then, all of a sudden, a strange woman appeared on Twilight Sparkle's doorstep. She was hidden beneath a long cloak and had long brown nails under her fingers. Her dirty hair flushed. Her dirty hair fluished down from beneath the, co the cloak, and she had glowing eyes. You are not who you think you are, said the strange woman. What do you mean? said Twilight Sparkle. You are not who you think you are, she said again with a mysterious crackling voice like a rat like a bad radio transmission. I still don't understand you, said the lavender unicorn. Here, take this, she said, and gave Twilight Sparkle an alarm clock. Take this, and give it to your parents or guardian. They will know what to do with it. And with that, she disappeared before Twilight Sparkle's eyes. Twilight Sparkle was confused, but thought that she had to... D Twilight Sparkle was confused, but thought she had to do something. But rather than going to her parent or guardian, Twilight Sparkle decided to show it to Sunburst. Oh no, said Sunburst. You must forget about this. Why? inquired the Lavender Unicorn. What do you know? I... I can't tell you. My dear Twilight Sparkle, I didn't think it would be this soon. What? yelled the Lavender Unicorn. Are you keeping things away from me? It's... It's for your own good. You cannot know this, said Sunburst, and... Sunburst had escaped her grasp. No! Damn it! When will I ever know the truth? Twilight Sparkle was feeling depressed. One of her best friends abandoned. One of her best friends abandoned and betrayed her. It hurt. So the Lavender Unicorn wanted to find Rainbow Dash. After their adventure, Twilight Sparkle and the Athletic Pegasus had been spending a lot of time together. Twilight Sparkle kind of started to like her, and after Twilight Sparkle had only recently discovered that she was bisexual, Rainbow Dash seemed like the perfect girl to be around with. So the Lavender Unicorn went to Rainbow Dash and told the whole story. She listened to Twilight Sparkle without saying a word. Then she said, WTF! This is so big! And Twilight Sparkle said, I know! Do you know a way to find out what is happening? Why is everyone hiding things from me? Rainbow Dash sighed and said, you have always been special, Twilight Sparkle, and not just to me. How do you know that? Rainbow Dash looked at the balloon that Twilight Sparkle had received and said, It kind of looks like the iron dildo, doesn't it? Could be, but it might not be. But, yeah, certainly it might be. Whatever it is, I can recognize it quite well. And I think, the blue pegasus said, that perhaps the mysterious woman wanted you to find something inside of you. Inside? Like my heart? No, don't be silly. Like a memory. Think about it. If your parents lie to you, and now Sunburst doesn't want to talk to you about your pat background, perhaps there is a hidden memory in your head. The Athletic Pegasus' logic was flawless, so Twilight Sparkle had to try it. So Twilight Sparkle concentrated on the object. Immediately, she felt drawn into it. It stated out as a vague, fuzzy thing, like when you wear glasses, and there is a lot of moisture in the air, and you can see a fudge sickle on the horizon. But then it turned out that there was a second But then it turned out that there was a secret memory, hidden beneath the veil layer of self loving in her head. And within that memory, a burning figure appeared. It was Discord in hell. The lavender unicorn was confused. She didn't think that memory would be in there, and yet it was there, burning like the heart of a newborn star and the center of the earth. Everyone who looked an undeniably ravenous animal attraction between the Lavender Unicorn and Donald Trump. No one could deny it. No one except the God Emperor and the Lavender Unicorn, that is. 
They seemed blissfully unaware of their attraction to each other, unaware of their boundless, uncontrollable lust. Every time they met, they didn't show it, but everyone knew. Everyone knew what was really going on between them. A war of lust. And everyone knew that it was an unsuitable situation. No one wanted to be dragged into that war. Something had to be done, or someone. In the middle of all of this, finally, Andromiel could stand it no longer. So fa she found the Lavender Unicorn and pulled them to one side. That's it. It's ruining the team. It's clear you can't function while the God Emperor is around. What? No, I'm fine. No, it's very clear. You need to do the doodling with them. Everyone else in the room nodded at this. But doing the doodling with Donald Trump, isn't that um, wrong? Oh, sure, it's wrong. Very, very wrong. But just because something's wrong doesn't mean that shouldn't happen, does it? No, I suppose not. The Lavender Unicorn wandered off thinking of the doodling. How will she introduce the idea to Donald Trump? And would they accept it? Twilight Sparkle finally found a moment to pull the God Emperor away from the others to have a private moment. We have to do it. I know. My team told me as well. Apparently our feelings are causing problems for everyone else. So we are agreed. We finally let our feelings out of their cages of repression that they have been caged in all this time? Yes, for the team. No, for us. The Lavender Unicorn leapt on Donald Trump at that moment. The raging unicorn they kept locked up finally unleashed. The Lavender Unicorn and the God Emperor quickly became a ball of body parts, arms, buttocks, and arms all tangled together. Twilight Sparkle didn't know what bit to focus on, so grabbed a spare baby maker and dived in. More, 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 whispered Donald Trump to the Lavender Unicorn. Their love making was like a sunrise of vaginas. It was... <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's like they were everywhere, inescapable, not that either of them wanted to escape them. Things got messy from that point on. Nearby, the others occasionally heard various bodily function noises, but politely ignored it. This had been coming far too long to ruin it now, and this team bonding was very much needed. Twilight Sparkle and her team went carefully through Ponyville. The Lavender Unicorn looked very sexy. Her nipples perked, firm and erect. Her leather coat billbogged in the breeze, extrapolating her sex mess. His time, she said, her voice having a British nationality. Oh. Yes, it is time to defeat Discord once and for all, said Sunburst. He wore a black corset covered in shafts and a nice hat. His nails were iridescent black, and he had a ruby skull ring on. He looked as hot as hell. And they rushed into the base. Pinkie Pie Roundhouse kicked a mook and then punched one with her glock. It exploded, and she held up her middle finger to the explosion. Pinkie Pie then used her holy, holy magics and summoned a giant bloody craw them. <sniffs> Nothing was darker than the butthole. <laughs> the old sage had told Twilight Sparkle. And he also told the Lavender Unicorn that virtue is the best property in a person and Twilight Sparkle could be the legendary chosen one that the prophecies of old and dank and darkness had spoken about. Oh yes, the prophecy. That had what made the Lavender Unicorn lay awake at nights. Of course, Rainbow Dash had asked what was up with the Lavender Unicorn. Of course, Twilight Sparkle would always say. There was nothing going on, dear. Go back to sleep. And in their minds they'd fill in. You don't have to worry about the terrible burden I'll have to carry for the rest of my life. Because everyone knows, prophecies have a nasty way of coming true. And this one was about coming true spectacularly. In the darkness of that night, away from the prying eyes and ears of those... Some strangers slipped by unnoticed. But they were not strangers. They knew each other. And they knew each other much closer than... Nor could they know, because it was night, and thus away from their vicious judging eyeballs. Uh... 
Well, one of them's Donald Trump. Is it safe? Said the first stranger, who is not a stranger to the other stranger, but will remain a stranger to us for the moment. Stranger. I think so. It's dark, so none of the others should see us here. But even if they're nearby, I think our secret is safe. Good. I couldn't take their judgment right now. My life is too stressful as it is. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what I'd do. Don't worry, the lavender unicorn. Oh, wait. <clears throat> For our ammo. I think so. It's dark, so none of the others should see us here. Even if they are nearby, I think our secret is safe. Is it safe? said the first stranger, who is not a stranger to the other stranger, but will remain a stranger to us for the moment. Good. I couldn't take their judgment right now. My life is too stressful as it is. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what I'd do. Don't worry, the lavender unicorn. I will always be here for you waiting in the dark. Thanks, Donald Trump. I will always be in the dark for you, too. And with that, the two shadows embraced, an embracement in the night full of passion and romance. And they journeyed long and far to reach the destined encounter with fate which was foresaw by a soothsayer with the ability to predict the future that hasn't happened yet. We must journey now to yonder to defeat the evil emperor of evil and to defeat thee and return spread our magic to this realm of Equestria. Uh, I'm done. I'll read it. And then, just when our heroes cannot take it anymore, they defeated the Draconicus at the end. I don't... I don't... I don't care. <laughs>